know that the tongue is the smallest part of the body and the tongue can set a fire on a nation. The tongue can destroy. The tongue can set family apart. The tongue can put friendship into jeopardy. The, uh, the tongue can set children against their father, father against their own children. The tongue can destroy friends or co-workers. The word of God makes us to understand that life and death are in the power of the tongue. And the word of God makes us to understand also that we should choose life. The Bible says the words that comes out of our mouth, they are spirit and they are life. With words, you can encourage someone. With the same words, with the same tongue, you can put someone down. And the word of God makes us to understand that our words should be a word of, you know, upliftment, uplifting one another, loving one another, caring for one another. We should not use our mouth to destroy, to destroy anyone or put anybody down. We should use our mouth, the tongue that God has given unto us to lift people up, to pray for them, to love them, to care for them, you know, to take care of them. You can put somebody down physically or spiritually. You can destroy someone spiritually or you can destroy someone physically through the words that comes out of your mouth. You can, you can decide to encourage someone that is going through difficulties, going through pain or going through loss. You can use your mouth to encourage that person. Or you can use your mouth, you know, to tell somebody you are good for nothing. Nothing good is going to come out of you. You are this, you are that. I'm not sure you're going to make it. You just, you know, I don't want to use any word that will not give glory to God. You know, instead of saying those things, use your word. Think before you speak. Don't just open your mouth and begin to speak negative negativity into people's life. Don't use your mouth to control, put people in control, put people in bondage. Use the words in your mouth that God has given unto you to encourage, to build, to save, to uplift, and to give people's hope. Use your tongue to profit the work of God, the kingdom of God, instead of using your word to destroy. When you destroy, to rebuild it's very, very difficult to rebuild. Your mouth can destroy, but your mouth can never rebuild. And apart from that, to also, before you say things out of your mouth, always think of how will this person respond? How will this person feel? How will they look at me? Don't just open your mouth and begin to speak. Think of what you are saying to that person. If those things is going to uplift that person, or not because when words words comes out of your mouth you cannot take it back think before you speak think before you say things to people as children of god always use the words your tongue to build to uplift to create don't use your tongue to destroy don't use your tongue to let people down don't use your tongue to disappoint people do not use your tongue to fight or to curse, curse people. Use your tongue to bless people. Speak positivity into people's life and let the light of God shine through you, through the words that comes out of your mouth and let people's life be uplifted and let people's life be touched. God bless you all. Please subscribe to my channel. My channel is Amazing God 2230. Subscribe to my channel. And like my video. God bless you all. In Jesus' name, amen.